Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl of Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? A fall Breton? Fleeing from some court intrigue? Captain, what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to High Rock. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Alright, welcome to a new Let's Play of Skyrim Special Edition. We are going to play as a historical figure named Boudicca. Uh, Some here in Helgen call you a hero. But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Learn up as you wish. That's it. Die with some honor, my friend. All right. I haven't got all morning. Right away, I need to point out a couple of things here. This is a modded gameplay, uh, the unofficial Skyrim patch. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. And you say the same. And uh, the bo the female bodies are different as well. There are seven base with seven base bombshell armors and clothing, and the U U N P seven base armors. Sorry, I stepped on some dialogue here. I'm still stepping on dialogue. Sorry about that, right off. I'm uh, playing as a Breton, and uh, I'll explain a little bit. Could you please stop talking? I don't care if I talk over her. <laughs> you guys, come on, come on. Uh, I'll go through some more of the mods. Actually, I will list all of the mods in the description of the video. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm not going to waste everybody's time with that. But we are going to spice this up a little bit by playing as a vampire with the Better Vampires mod. You'll immediately notice some differences in the dialogue with the unofficial patch right away here, coming right up. There you go. That's a line that's not there. A little bit of a freeze, of course. All right, let's sneak in here. We'll work on our sneak. Uh, for Helgen Keep, I'm on Legendary Difficulty. The rest of the gameplay will be on Expert. Um, I just like to power level uh, a little bit through Helgen on Legendary, and it's only one of uh, two dungeons I can manage on Legendary. I, I don't like to run and hide. I, I like to be in on the action. Sorry, Rayla, if I'm stepping on your dialogue again. I like to be in amongst the action. And Legendary difficult is, um, Difficulty requires a lot of uh, running in fear. Uh, and I don't like to do that. So I play on Expert. Um, which is plenty difficult enough to, to give a challenge and enjoy the game. I, I don't play games to not have fun and to not enjoy it. And I find Legendary Difficulty and Master Difficulty just, it's just not fun. It's tedious and it's hard work. And I, I don't want to play a game like that. 
so anyway, we'll be using the Better Vampires mod. Um, I will set up the settings between the episodes here. And um, so if you're not sure about who Boudica is, I would suggest do a little research. Oh, Jesus, I got out here way too early. If that fire breath hits us, we're dead. <laughs> a little too happy. A little too gun shy there. All right, all right, we're going. Uh, I'm also using Vivid Weathers. Uh, I was going to change the night sky. It's um, I love the way the night sky looks. I'm not too hip on how much rain and snow we get, but I love the sky. Uh, also, there's a bunch of Creation Club add-ons in here. And the game tends to crash around any Creation Club location, regardless if I have that mod installed uh, because Creation Club is, all re is automatically loaded into your game. Uh, so even if you don't have the actual Creation Club, that still impacts the area. And I've noticed that um, there are several new locations that are crashing due to Creation Club uh, add-ons. Uh, it's unfortunate, but that's what it is. Uh, I do have some gameplay gameplay changing mods. Again, those will be listed in the description as gameplay or not gameplay changing mods. Okay, so um, so everybody's aware of what I'm doing. You don't feel like you know you're not aware if I'm exploiting or cheating the game. Um, I don't have to exploit the game. I use ordinator perks, and there's plenty of exploits in those perks. Or you could perceive them as exploits. Um, it, it's it's designed to do a more role play focused uh, perk like system. But yeah, here I am stepping on his dialogue again. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends, the harbingers of the end time. Does Rayloff look a little cross-eyed here? We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings. Like that, that right eye is a little bit lazy and it's kind of pointed into the center. Anybody ever notice that? Oh, all right, all right, sorry, sorry. There you go. Okay, maybe not. Now he's looking off to the other side a little bit. Okay, okay, so first and foremost, uh, before we get too far, KS hairdos, seven base bodies, and the red bikini underwear, and we're going to see that right away. Um, just get over it. I have the mod because of the athletic build. I don't have the mod because of the Silicon Valley uh, plastic implants, okay? Uh, so we'll use this uh, D debugger. There we go. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Just a moment. Grab the axe, grab the armor, and you can see that the UUNP armor changes several armors. You'll find that in the game, okay? Sorry, I'm still stepping on this dialogue. So Rayloff's trying to get out here. He can't get out because he needs key. We're going to check the other one. I'm going to hide over here. This is a really good idea. Um, you... <laughs> Sorry, Rayloff. I just continue. You want Rayloff. You want your your, fo your battle cohorts to take the heat uh, on Legendary because these guys can kill you easily on legendary difficulty. Again, this is all, I'm only doing this to help level my character, get a good a good start. There we go. Now, just swing away. Now, Brent start with no one-handed skills. And you're going to see how much damage we simply aren't doing. Rayloff is doing most of the damage with his power attacks. We'll just swap around. It doesn't matter which one you take. So if you're not aware of legendary difficulty, what that does is you only put out, oh boy, not me, not me, no, 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 no. <laughs> you only put out 25% of your normal damage, while the NPCs put out three times as much, ow, damage. No, 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 go, go fight Rayloff, no, no. Oh, thank goodness. Rayloff, take the heat, man. No, no, no. <laughs> Go away. Oh, my goodness. That's going to hurt. All right. We got, we got to heal up here. No, no, no. Don't hit me. That would kill me. There we go. 
Oh my goodness. All right. All right. Phew. Uh, so yeah, we'll put that. We'll put those on. Uh, we're gonna be using daggers uh, because I have a cool little fork. And uh, you know, I'll just show it to you really quick here. I'm gonna collect a bunch of stuff. Not everything because I can't carry it. Uh, let's go back into sneak mode and work on that. All right. So let's go. We'll go ahead and level up. Uh, whew. Okay, so as I said, Bretons start out with only 15 one-handed. So let's take a look at the very first battle here. This is what Legendary does for you. We're already leveled up four times in one-handed. We'll probably be level 25 one-handed before this is all over. Uh, but anyway, let's get to this one-handed. In fact, this is what I want to do. I figured that uh, this would be very fitting for... Uh, for vampires, uh, for vampire is bite marks. Um, actually, you know what? I think we'll uh, we'll probably do dual wielding, and it will actually be dagger and war axe. And the reason for that is is because of what I think is more like role playing esque. I'm not much of a role player, I don't think is that uh, the bleed damage of both. Now, this is Ordinator perks, so they actually do something. Take a look here. It says, attacks with War Axes deal an additional one point of damage per three seconds for the first rank. So, it's get three second, three more bleed damage, but it says, then when the bleeding stops, the damage is equal to 15% of the health they lost while bleeding. All right, so what does that mean? That means that you get three extra bleed point damages on things that bleed, and then I think 15% of that bleed damage, which isn't much. All right. But anyway, uh, over here with the bite marks, we get a 30 second bleed out of uh, living and of living uh, enemies here. Okay. So you add uh, this, this is a, an extra 30 points of damage actually. And the, the effect stack, you'll see uh, if you just go and dagger a couple of times, it works really well. Uh, anyway, so let's keep going. I'm gonna come over here. Uh, we're gonna waste your time sneaking around in here. Sneak level. Uh, sneak. We're gonna have like 100 sneak in no time, anyways, because we'll be using a lot of sneak attacks with with melee weapons. Which, by the way, is the fastest way, the fastest way to level up sneak. You'll also notice that with the unofficial patch, every time you pick up some gold, it jingles. You have no idea how. I don't know how immersive hearing those sounds are. And how about the chickens? Have <laughs> I can't believe it. First time I ever heard chickens is when I installed the patch. I'd never even heard chickens cluck before. Now every time I go to a farm, there's chickens everywhere. All right, but this isn't this isn't about you know preaching preaching about the the patch or anything like that. This is about playing the game as a historical or somebody based on a historical figure. Stop talking when I'm talking. And uh, adding the, the extra little spice of the vampire. So Boudicca was a Celtic warrior prince or queen who uh, ended up going on a rampage after her husband died. And the Romans no longer honored the agreement. And so this is typical of the Romans, of course. They went against all, everything they said they would do. And then they turned around and uh, flogged her and raped her daughters. And then she she went uh, she went on a big old rampage. So we need to get behind him again. Rayloff has to take the heat here. We get to the next section. You're going to see three Stormcloak soldiers instead of just two. And two of the soldiers are going to have two-handed weapons, which again is a result of unofficial patch. Um, I've never seen, uh, unfortunately, it's, uh, <laughs> it kind of takes away from our own leveling because those two-handed weapons do so much damage. And Rayloff did all the damage on this guy. All right, we're not going to worry about that. Uh, so, a little bit about Better Vampires mod. We are going to, our, our, our Magicka regens in the daylight. Um, our health and stamina will regen in shadows. So we're going to overcome that by having uh, a lot of vegetable soup, a lot of uh, beef stew, a lot of venison stew during the day. 
I'm not going to spend, I'm not going to waste a lot of time picking flowers and stuff like that for you guys, uh, because, yeah, it's not worth it. Uh, let's see, do we need, no, we won't need any, uh, so with, uh, our, I have an Ars Metallica, and it adds crafting feathers for your arrows and your bolts in, uh, in the birds, but we're not going to be using uh, arrows or bolts. We're going to use destruction magic for ranged attack. Uh, we're not going to use fire. I don't know whoever thought that using fire as a vampire was a good idea, but it's not. We're going to use shock spells mostly and frost spells. And then uh, some drain spells from the Creation Club and the Better Vampires mod. So again, we need to uh, stay behind. Watch out for this guy's shock spell. It will ruin your afternoon. He's got actually got a very good... Uh, it's not a you can't improve it, but it's a very good helmet. Uh, we'll go ahead and take all that, put that on, grab the steel dagger. You see what I mean? Oh my goodness! All three of these storm cloaks have two-handed weapons this time. Usually, the uh, usually one of them has a shield. And not this time. These guys lay waste to these imperials with those two-handed weapons. Sorry, I'm stepping on Rayloff's dialogue. Hopefully it doesn't matter that much because I'm assuming that most people have been that are watching this if there's anybody that watches it <laughs> don't do very good at uploading or making videos has been through all of this before the only differences would be you know from the uh, the patch adding an extra Stormcloak soldier in here if you go with Rayloff um, that's about it and I've never seen any of these two-handed storm cloaks die in the Helgen Keep ever with the unofficial patch and the ordinator perks. I just come on with this clipping thing. I want that spell. You know, hang on. See if we can't move him out of the way just a little bit. It's probably not going to help too much. There we go. We want sparks because we don't want to fire. So we'll be uh, weak to fire. We'll counter that. Um, another aspect of Ordinator perks is there is, what, what do they call that? Um, let's take a quick look here. Uh, for anybody that's not sure, all your uh, magic is under the blue, all your sneak is under the green, and all your warrior is under the red or the orange. And things that are kind of in between are right on the edge. So you see light armor. Archery for the unofficial patches under the warrior stone. But you can see that light armor is right in the middle. You will see that alchemy is in the middle between sneak and and magic. Um, and you will see what is uh, enchanting is right in the middle. Anyway, so we want to get to destruction here, and I want to... Was it called uh, Arc Burn or something? Arc Burn. Okay, so shock spells uh, hitting targets that are not fire resistant cause a plasma that deals five points of unresistible fire damage per second. So if we run across any shock mages as a vampire, we'll, <laughs> we'll be caught. It'll be like being on fire, so we need to get some fire resistance. Uh, we'll get that in the alternation... Altern alteration perk tree uh, so this is going to be a long time there's going to be a lot of high level perk trees sneak illusion destruction alteration uh, one-handed probably won't be that big of a deal light armor probably won't be that big of a deal smithing and enchanting and probably alchemy will be pretty high as well so it's going to take a little while. I still got my healing spell out here. <laughs> so unfortunately, if you're going to if you're playing with patch and you want to come through here and you want to do a two-handed warrior, you might have to side with uh you might have to side with Hadvar. I don't ever do. Um you know, these Imperials don't even care who you are. Uh, it's off with your heads no matter what. It sounds like a Charlemagne campaign. No matter what you do, it's off with your head. 
right? Um, so I never side with uh, I never side with them. Plus, you don't get key to Hadvar's house ever, even with the unofficial patch. You don't get a key, so you can never get to them. You can never go in their house, and we need a lot. Oh, there we go. Let me get on the act in on the action here. Oh, I got hit by an arrow. Oh, you. Ow. Please, somebody help me here. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> oh, and I forgot about conjuration. We're probably... We might not do much conjuration. Not with this particular vampire build. Um, Just because I don't think that it would necessarily fit. You know, the... Uh, the... The Romans, which the Imperials are based off of, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they believe that Celtic people were filthy necromancers or not. I, I have no idea. Let me just go over here because it's just way too much, and I can't get any leveling here. If I'm, uh, oh, sorry, I got the Stormcloak shoulder there. I think. Look at him just block for no reason. Oh uh, yeah. There you go. There we go. We got him. We got him. Very good. We got him. Yep. Come on. Let's go. Stop moving. Stop stopping. Keep moving. I can't stay. Some hard words are hard. Words are hard. Let's see where this goes. Come on. Let's see. All right. As soon as he gets through, that bridge is going to collapse. We're going to turn right back around and go that way. Uh, it's a little bit quicker than... We'll meet Rayloff on the other end right over there. But to get these goodies, I, I, that seems to be the quickest way here. A couple of other things I wanted to point out before we get too far along. I'm not going to be sprinting around the game map, okay? I'm going to... I don't like doing that. I don't just like running... And besides that, uh, I can't do that as a vampire. Um, I just can't waste all my stamina in the daytime. And the nighttime videos will be extremely dark, uh, so I don't know how that's going to work out. I'll try to lighten them up. That doesn't go anywhere. Uh, so this is un this is it. We're either going to be doing it like this or on horseback, okay? So for all of those that love sprinting around the game map, Sorry, can't help you. Rayloff, let's go. These spiders are more than I can handle on my own. Even as a Breton. With the magic resistance. Which would... Oh, gosh. Don't spit that venom at me. Oh, thank goodness. Now, I can just give myself vampirism, but we're not going to do that. On the next video, I'm going to show you a good place. Oh, no. Ow. To, uh, I hate those yeah, yeah. Eyes, no? Well, a relatively safe place to contract uh, Vampiris, Sagwinaris, or whatever they call it. Uh, so we'll do that right away. Alright, so it looks, it doesn't look terrible right now on uh, Legendary Difficulty going through Helgen. But I'm going to tell you what, none of these enemies <laughs> are like the full-blown, you know, McCoy. They, they're, they're just not. As you'll see with the bear, as most of you have ever done, you fought this bear back here. Even on regular adept level, it, you know, Heck, on expert level, three shots with the bow, with a long bow, will kill it. Uh, we're not going to get anywhere close, and we're not going to use the bow anyway. But we definitely want. Let's do that. 
Follow these on screen and on screen instructions. So uh actually, you know what? We can sneak up here a little bit. We'll follow the on screen on screen instructions so they don't keep popping up. Work on our sneak level here. Now he usually the spirit usually gets triggered. Oh my god. Oh 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 no, no. oh that's because of Rayloff. He's following me. And he's not sneaking. He blew it. As you can tell, this there's no way that this bear is a normal bear, right? I mean, imagine uh, taking your... Let's see, where we can just go ahead and level up. It's okay. We're going to focus on some magic and health early on. Um, we're going to need the extra health because we're going to lose like 60 points ever or whatever right away. Uh, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to keep those perk points for just a little bit while I'm continuing on. Um... Even on regular difficulty, you know, you couldn't kill a wild bear with a couple of hacks from a sword. Not with a sword that does nine damage. No, it's never going to happen. All right. So forget that. We'll go up here and uh, what I'll do is I'm going to end the video here before we go outside. And uh, I'm going to set up all of the uh, vampire settings off camera. And then when we get out, uh, we will we will get ourselves infected. So I just want to say thanks and we'll catch you next video.